this is the first video of a series of gimbal comparisons we're going to do in this channel and we're going to start with a smartphone gimbal in this case the Moza Mini S and the DJI Osmo Pocket. We're going to compare a few things such as the price, the portability and some experiences we had in order for you to see and have a better choice. No more talking, let's go inside. Hello guys and welcome again to a new We Talk You the video today. This is Alex with Chivo on the camera and as I said before we're comparing the Osmo Pocket to the Moza Mini S with a smartphone and this video the purpose of this video is because you have been asking quite a lot I don't know if I should get the Osmo Pocket but I already have a phone that films good in 4k 60 for example well there are a few things and we're going to compare them here because there is a big price difference but this little thing here can make you really happy by doing awesome videos. So, let's see. The first thing will be the price. And the price, we only have certain here that the Osmo Pocket just reduced its price to 320 US dollars, 319 and 99 US dollars, which is a price drop, pretty interesting, that you may want to check on their website. And, in the case of a phone gimbal, we always said that it has to be foldable right now, so um, a, few, a bunch of models would be in that part, such as the Osmo Wild 3. We have the Moza Mini S for 79 US dollars, and then it will depend on your phone, but if you have a Samsung, for example, S9 like this one, it will go 600, 700, 800 bucks. So you'll go in a total of a little maybe closer to 1000 bucks. But of course, if you have a regular smartphone, it will do the job too. And for 300 or 400 bucks combo with the Moza Mini S, you will have the same price. So the price, as I'm saying, will depend. But the thing here is, if you do already have a good and decent smartphone where you spend your money, you just have to add 79 US dollars. And the chances that you have a decent smartphone are high. So 79 US dollars versus 320 US dollars. Oh, and between you and me, you don't have to have a fruit phone, you know, in order to have great footage, you have great Android phones with that cost, I don't know, 300, 400 bucks that are pretty good. And you don't have to go into the thousand bucks for a phone just between you and me. Let me get to the next point before comparing the footage of both devices. And let's talk about portability because this is one of the most important things, at least for us here at WeTalk UEV. And of course, this point would go directly to the Osmo Pocket because as its name says, it is fits in your pocket. So I can put this right into my pocket and I don't even have to care that I'm carrying it. On the other hand, when talking about the foldable gimbals, even though they are foldable and, you know, they don't take a lot of space in a backpack, it's still some space that you will have to save for the phone gimbal. And as a matter of fact, between you and me again, um, you know, in life, size does matter. But when it comes to devices, and I can talk from my own experience, not only inside the devices, less is more. So this point would directly go to the Osmo Pocket, if you know what I mean. And now let's get finally to see some footage. We're going to do a cinematic video on each one of these devices so that you can take your own conclusion. On, on.
After watching this amazing footage edit, uh, we're gonna talk about the setting up time, which is pretty interesting too and important, and we're gonna leave this location to go somewhere else. Imagine the first situation, something very, very awesome just passes by and you just wanna film very fast. This is what happens. Oh, look at this. Awesome shot. Oh! Oh my god, wait! Please! Jeez! Oh, whatever. It's already gone. Well, at least I saw it, I think. But not only the setting time, there's also one extra thing that is very important. Just look at this. Oh, hello, sir. Hi. Please, please, don't, don't kill me. Oh, there you go. T take my money, please. 35 euros. It's more than I earn a year on YouTube. Apart from the excellent jokes that we just made that actually do really happen. For example, Tivo was this year also in Florence, in Italy. Florence, uh, the hometown of Michelangelo and all the art galleries from Italy. And I have to say that he told me that when you go into an art gallery museum, if you go like this, they can ban you. Well, they actually will tell you, no, please take this away or you just can't come in. On the other hand, if you go with this thing, nobody even notices everything. First, because it's in your pocket and second, it just takes picture for them. So, bear this in mind too, because this little details will make and will be very important when you make your decision. And now finally, before finishing this video, let's talk a little bit about our own experience using both because we have been using them quite a lot. Not only the Moza Minis, but also some other foldable smartphone gimbals such as the Osmo L3 and not foldable gimbals. And the Osmo Pocket, it's been, I believe, almost a year because it was launched in November or December last year. So we have been actually filming and traveling with it. So the first thing, the most important, I'm a big fan and have always been of the smartphone gimbals. I remember traveling with the Osmo Mobile One and my iPhone 6, I believe, and the videos there were pretty, pretty awesome. The good thing about having a gimbal is that you have a kind of decent quality camera if your smartphone is good enough, and you have very, very smooth motion, and of course you have to learn a few movements with the gimbal, but the basics will do. And now that they are foldable and some of them come with some interesting shooting modes such as inception mode and all that, you can get really, really creative with a gimbal. The not so good thing about a phone gimbal, of course, is space. It is bigger than an Osmo Pocket, but in the next video we're going to talk about comparing this to a Ronin and a big DSLR or mirrorless camera and that's even worse. But a little bit of extra space, not on your pocket. Second, it drains your battery, your phone battery. Jesus, it's extremely, you can probably film for an hour, two hours, the most, the best that you can get out of one of these. And of course, there are some gimbals that will charge your phone, that you can put a cable or even NFC, wireless charging, but you will have always to have an external battery with you because it drains the battery a lot. And not only the phone battery, also the gimbal battery, even though some of them now come with 15 hours of battery in that, it's an extra thing that you will have to charge. And now let's talk about the Osmo Pocket. Let's talk first about the cons. The thing that I like the least of this little great device is of course that I'm not using the phone attached to it. Of course you can attach it by using this little, you know, connection, but in the end, if you wanna be fast and, you know, film as soon as you can, you won't be using the phone. This means that you will see what you're framing in this little uh, screen. And most of the time you won't even look at the screen because you are, I don't know, walking and seeing what you gotta do. And this is one of the bad things because you will never know for sure if you're framing right, if you're exposing right, and if you're in manual. In this case, for example, we are using uh, some free wheel filters, but you will never know if you are properly exposing. Am I, am I not? Um, is the shutter speed correct? So this kind of blind filming, if you're very tricky on that, you will notice that. If you don't care, for example, I don't really care, then it won't be much of a problem. But it is something that you have to take in mind too. And now let's talk about the good things of the Osmo Pocket. And if you remember a few seconds ago, the Moza Mini S was right here with my phone, but I made like this 
and then I hit it accidentally with my backpack and Chivo if you can go and look down there Yeah, that's my phone and my gimbal and these things sometimes happen. Sadly, Chivo didn't film it, but I don't even want to look at the screen of my phone just in case. Maybe I'm $1,000 poorer, more poor right now. But again, the good things about the Osmo Pocket is that of course the quality, the video quality that you put in such a small device is excellent. The mechanical gimbal that you have on this thing is excellent. The output overall that you can take out of something that you can actually put in your pocket is really excellent. And for the price, 320 US dollars right now, it's unbeatable. I don't think there's a device out there, an action cam maybe, but they don't have mechanical gimbals. You will always need to put it on something. It's just amazing. And not to forget that DJI with the Osmo Pocket just invented something. I mean, phone gimbals and those kind of gimbals we had seen them for quite some time before but this thing is completely new it's a redesigned gimbal including a camera 4k 60 that we never saw before the concept is completely new so let's give it a good point in this case for dji for coming up with the osmo pocket well guys i really hope that you like this kind of video that you were entertained that you learned something and um we will do a video maybe not today but in the next days where we will compare the phone gimbal with a smartphone and the Ronin SC with Chivo's Fuji X-T3 so there's also a price difference and we'll see the differences over there right now I don't want to say goodbye without checking the status of my phone my phone works now let's see if the gimbal works Let me recheck that for a second. One more second, please. Ta-da! It works! Oh my god, these days, they do really awesome things. Well, guys, nothing real to say. Leave the thumb if you thought that this was good. Hit the bell, sub, blah, 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 blah. I'm editing this video, so please leave the thumb for my editing. Next video will be Chivo editing. Nothing really else to say. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you, Evie. And uh, <coughs> apart from the jokes that we just made that are... Uh, apart, apart... And another thing apart from these little jokes that actually do happen is, for example, if you saw our video last week, a nice cinematic shot footage. Fucking hell. Beautiful Chibo. I look beautiful again. As we said before, we're comparing the Osmo Pocket to a phone gimbal, which is the Mosa Minius. The thing is, of course, for... <laughs> <laughs>